Hello everyone, today we are going to learn how to add Facebook leads to Fluent CRM. So today our objective is that whenever we get new Facebook lead in our Facebook lead ads, we want to add these leads in our Fluent CRM and we want to create a new contact in Fluent CRM. For this, we are going to create an integration between Facebook lead ads and Fluent CRM. For creating this integration, we are going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, we are going to use Trigger and Action. In Trigger application, we are going to use Facebook lead ads. In Action application, we are going to use Fluent CRM. How I'm going to create this integration? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And this is my Facebook page for my business. And I'm getting a lot of leads from my ad that I have posted on my Facebook page. And here my objective is that I want to add this lead in my Fluent CRM, which we have as a plugin in our WordPress. So we have this Fluent CRM here. So here we are going to create an integration between Fluent CRM and Facebook Lead Ad. For creating this integration, we are going to use Pabli Connect. For that, I will open a new tab and search for pabli.com. And it will take us to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in. And you will get to see this page. Here, these are all the tools that Pabli offers. And we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I'm going to click here on Access Now button under Pabli Connect. So it will take us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section. And we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here. And we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now we are going to create a workflow. For that, I'm going to click here on create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here, I have to name my workflow. So I will name it as my objective, which is to add Facebook leads to Fluent CRM. Now I'm going to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to select home and I'm going to click on create. And it will take us to the most important window of my workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which my workflow works on. And Trigger says, when this happens, Action says, do this. So Trigger will be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and Action will just follow that. So we will set up our Trigger first. And here, our Trigger application will be Facebook Lead Ads. So I'm going to click here. Now I have to give a Trigger event. So I will open this. A new lead instant will be my Trigger event. Now I have to connect my Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect. For that, I'm going to click here on connect. I'll click on add new connection. I will connect with Facebook lead ads. And I will click on continue to give access to my account. And I have successfully connected my Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect. Now here we have two details, page and lead gen form. So for this, let's go back to my Facebook page and this is my Facebook page and it is named as Starflex Entertainment. And for the lead gen form, I will open this Meta Business Suite. I will click on all tools. I will search for this instant forms. And here I have this one lead gen form, which is named as Starflex Entertainment. I will open this. I have these details here, first name, last name, email, and the phone number. And this is how my form looks like. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to map these details in my Pabli Connect. I will go back to Pabli Connect. And my page is Starflex Entertainment. So I will select this. And my lead gen form will be Starflex Entertainment. I will click here. So here it says, please note that after clicking the Save and Send Test Request button, you need to generate sample submission of your lead ad form by clicking on the Preview Form button and filling out the form. Make sure that the lead generation form is live before making the sample submission. So I'm going to click on save and send test request button. And now it is waiting for webhook response. So for getting this webhook response, I need to make a sample submission. And for that sample submission, I'm going to use Meta for developer. So I will open Meta for developer. Here I will click on my apps. I will click on tools. And here I will search for this lead ads RTU debug tool. 
I'm going to open this. And here we have page and the form. So I will map my page here, which is Starflex Entertainment. And the form is Starflex Entertainment. Now I'm going to preview this form and I'm going to fill the dummy details here to get that sample submission. So I will click here on preview form. So this is my form and I'm going to fill dummy details here. So my first name will be demo, last name will be user and the email will be demo user at the rate pablitudes.com. So I'm going to give a random phone number and I'm going to click on next and I will click on submit. So my form is submitted and I have generated this lead. Now we'll go back to Pabli Connect. And here in the response, we have these lead details. So the first name is demo, last name is user, and the email is demo user at the rate padletutes.com. And we have this phone number. Now what we want is we want to add these lead details in our Fluent CRM and we will create a new contact for that. So I will set up my action for this. So I will open this. And I will search for my action application, which will be Fluent CRM. I will click here. And my action event here will be create a contact. I'll click on connect. I'll click on add new connection. And for connecting my Fluent CRM account with Pabli Connect, I have to give this login credentials. So you can fill all your login credentials here. So I have filled my login credentials here. So I'm just going to click on save. And I have connected my accounts together. Now I have to fill all these details here and I'm going to use mapping here. So what mapping is, mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous tab and we are getting new data continuously. So this new data will get replaced in the real time. So first I will map the first name. For mapping, I will click here. I will open this response and my first name is demo. Similarly, I will map the last name and the email address. Now I will map the phone number and we have this date of birth, address and other details too. And if you have these details in your lead gen form, so you can fill all these details too. Now I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to select my list. So I will open this and I'm going to use this Pabli list. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to click on save and send test request button. So here we have this response. So the message says successfully added the subscriber. And the first name is demo, last name is user, and the email is demo user at the rate pabletutes.com. And this is the phone number. Now to check this, let's go to WordPress. And here we have this Fluent CRM. So I will open this. In this, I will open this contacts. And here we can see we have added this new contact, which is demo user. And this is the email address, demo user at the rate pabletutes.com. I'll open this. Here we have the first name as demo last name as user and the email address is demo user at the rate pablitudes.com and this is the random phone number. So we have all these details in our lead gen form. So we have created this new contact from our Facebook lead ads to our Fluent CRM. Now let's check it again. So we will go back to Meta for developer. I will close this. I will delete this lead and I will again preview this form. Now I will fill the dummy details again. So my first name will be test, last name will be user, email will be testuser123 at the rate pabletutes.com and the random phone number. Now I'm going to click on next. I will click on submit. I will go back to contacts. And here we have this new contact which is test user and the email is testuser123 at the rate pabletutes.com. I'll open this. So the first name is test, last name is user, and the email is testuser123 at the rate pabletutes.com. And this is a random phone number. So we have just added these details in our lead gen form. So we are creating a new contact in our Fluent CRM account from our Facebook lead ads. So we can see our workflow is working successfully and we have created this integration between Fluent CRM and our Facebook lead ads. Now let's go back to Pabli Connect and let's summarize what we did here. So first we have set up our trigger and our trigger application was Facebook lead ads and our trigger event was new lead instant. Then we have set up our action and our action application was Fluent CRM and our action event was create a contact.
So this is how I've successfully created this workflow. And you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I will also put the link of my workflow in the description. So you can check it out from there. Thank you. Not just these application, you can automate and integrate a lot more application like this using Public Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.